27 and a half more hours, Irish fans. What's up, TTC? What's up, Irish Army? It's your boy KJOH1984 again. A couple things in this video. One, I'm going to preview the, of course, obviously the USC Notre Dame game. And I have about five other games that I'm going to start with on um, my projections on how I want them to go. Hopefully, I'll get four or five right, or hopefully, five or five right. But I'm going to start off with those, and then I'll go on to the USC Notre Dame uh, preview. First game I'm going to talk about is Texas, Oklahoma. All right, everyone. Yeah, there's been a lot of trash talking here on YouTube between the two schools. That's great. That's what I want. But, uh, anywho, like I said, I have family members that went to Texas. And for this and that and the other, I just don't like them. I, I don't know what it is, but I am going to go with Oklahoma in the upset, just so Texas has one loss. But I want Oklahoma to win that. Do I think, I'm rooting for Oklahoma. Do I think they're going to win and they're more talented? No, but... Let's we'll have to wait and see. Next game is South Carolina at Alabama. If this game was at South Carolina, it would be closer, a lot closer, and South Carolina could possibly pull up the upset, but it's at Alabama. Alabama's going to win that. Next game is a toss-up. Virginia Tech at Georgia Tech. Um, obviously, I'm from the Atlanta area. I'm shaky, though. Bob Tech has good defense, good special team. I respect Bob Tech. You know, I... Some of the players I can't stand. Georgia Tech, of course, has the option. They have Jonathan Dwyer, they have Josh Nesbitt, Paul Johnson, some of those guys. Uh, of course, Paul Johnson's their, their coach. I'm going, Don V's going to hate me for this, but I'm going to take Georgia Tech really close. I think it's going to be kind of like a 27 24 type of game. I think that would, it's going to be a good game. Um, next one is Texas Tech at Nebraska. This is really my upset. Pick of the week, minus the Texas Oklahoma. I think Texas Tech is going to win this. Um, Nebraska obviously played Missouri tough last week and actually came back from 21 points. And I just think Zach Lee is overrated. I don't think he's that good. So, you know, Texas Tech could score points. So I'm taking Texas Tech there. Last one is kind of an upset also, but it shouldn't be. It's Iowa at Wisconsin. I'm going to probably take Wisconsin here. I think Iowa's overrated. So, you know. That, that's my selection for those five picks, and like I said, hopefully I get four or five of those right, in between three or five, or four or five, or five or five. But going on to my game, um, like I said, there's about 27 more hours left for the game. I don't know what Big Sean Power 10's doing, I know he's going to the game, I don't know what other Notre Dame fans are going, I'd be lucky to get four hours sleep. Uh, I'm going, I'm going to be up, you know, enjoying every bit of it, you know, of course. College basketball, uh, Midnight Madness is on tonight, so I'll probably be watching that. But uh, going on with USC, Matt Barkley for the year, 958 yards, 59 completion percentage, three touchdowns, and two interceptions. Um, I think, you know, granted he'd been to California, you know, played at California, at Cal, and then he played at Ohio State, all right? Nothing but respect for those programs, but it's totally different when you come into Nerd Edge Stadium. Alright, self explanatory there, so I think he's going to have a decent game, but nothing special. However, the guy that's going to have the game is Joe McKnight, a career from uh, 2009 season stats, 473 yards passing, averaging 7 yards per carry and 6 touchdowns. Um, that scares the shit out of me. And you know, not only that, but he's a great receiver. He d does it on special teams with kickoff returns and punt returns. So, you know, he's a threat, just like, you know, Golden Tate is for us. Um, they have another running back, Allen, I forgot his last name, I didn't write it down, who has had 183 yards rushing. He's averaging 6.5 yards a carry and one touchdown. So, you know, he's overall a solid player. Obviously, a third down back that, you know, will be playing also is C.J. Gable. So, those three running backs I am scared of. Wide receivers, well, obviously they're getting Rodney Johnson back. Don't know much about him. He might have a good day. You know, we'll see. But the receiver they do have is Damian Williams, who came over from Arkansas with with Mitch Mustang, you know, to USC. You know, Mitch Mustang really worked out. But anywho, uh, Damian Williams, 359 yards this year and one touchdown. It's amazing. This is the one set that I'm really not afraid of. They only had four touchdowns total by their wide receivers this year. Four. And Golden Tate has that by himself. So I just, it baffles me. They don't have the receivers. 
I mean, they really don't have their fever. So as long as we, you know, stop their running game, then you know, and the little screen passes to, to Joe McKnight, we're fine. Um, keys to the game, real quick. I have about four for each team. Obviously, the first one for both teams is defense. All right. Obviously, USC's offense can score. Obviously, our defense can score. You know. So obviously it's going to come down to defense, turnovers, you know, pressure on their quarterbacks, this and that and the other. Notre Dame's next one is ability to run the ball, alright? USC, I think, has only given up on average about 70 yards per game. And, you know, if we can, if we can, if we can run the ball and control the clock, then we'll be fine. Um, like I said, for Notre, uh, for Notre Dame, they have to find Rod Rodel Johnson. Like I said, they haven't had the production they wanted receiver-wise. Or Ronald Johnson's going to have to uh, have to have a game for Notre Dame. Find McKnight. I mean, you know, we're going to have to find McKnight if we keep someone in the center and the other two spread out. You know, one takes the tight end and the other one spreads out to find Joe McKnight. You know, if that's Manny Titeo, if that's Brian Smith, if that's Torian Smith, if that's Darius Flemings, whoever. Um, of course, USC has to get away, try to find a way to get to Jimmy Clausen. Of course, he's still. He's feeling better, but he's still fighting turf toe. So our our office line is a lot better than you know a couple of years ago, especially last year. So you know if they get get to Clawson, it's going to be a long day for Clawson. But I think our defense line, uh, uh, so excuse me, office line will do well. Last uh, couple things is really for Notre Dame atmosphere and get up early. All right, like I said, a true freshman quarterback is coming uh, the house that Rocky built. So, you know, no disrespect for Cal, the Cal fans or the Ohio State fans, but, you know, Notre Dame fans will be loud, especially if we get up early. It's going to be even louder in that, at the stadium. For USC, you know, don't think this is a blowout. You know, that's, that's everything, every single time USC comes into our house, they expect them to shut us out. 35 to 3, 35 to 10. 45 to 10, you know, that type of thing. Don't, don't, under, un, uh, don't underestimate us this year. I mean, that's something that, you know, I, I honestly believe Pete Carroll always does. And we can, you know, we compete, especially, you know, on our home turf. And really my final projection, like I, th I think Bishop Parton said his was 35-28, so about a touchdown. It's pretty close. Um, mine's going to be 34-27. But the difference is, I think this game's going to go into overtime. I think it's going to be about 20-20 at the end of regulation. Both teams are going to score, this and that and the other. We're going to help them somehow. And then, you know, then we'll end up scoring and win the game 34-27. Now, like I said, you know, Big Sean, you know, a lot of people are down on us. And, you know, we'll just have to wait and see, though. I mean, like I said, if, if we win, I'll be on right after the game. Doing my review, I guarantee you. Um, but anywho, you know, like I said, congratulations, you know, congrats to everyone's team this weekend. Hopefully, your team wins. Like I've always said in all my previews. But until probably tomorrow, tomorrow night, this is your boy KJOH nineteen eighty four signing out. And remember, go Irish.